So hi all, my name is Pranav Gurukar. I am currently pursuing masters from IIT Bhubaneswar in Computer Science and Engineering. So the topic for today's video is like how to, uh, what is the right way of solving PYQs while preparing for GATE. So uh, you can take it as a general video and also this is applicable. This is uh, valid for all the branches which are uh, aware, like which are allowed for GATE. So let me first start with those students who have ample amount of time and they have started their preparation early. So like if uh, now they are in this situation like they have completed 3, 4 or I think 3, 4, 5 subjects. Uh, so first I will tell for them and then um, further I will go with those students who are a little bit behind them like they have just started their gate preparation or uh, maybe going to start. So let me first start with the basics like whenever you have, you have completed any subject directly start with its pyqs that is the right time for sol start solving pyqs so when you are solving them just be like just try your best means the uh, the first thing is like try with whatever knowledge you have gained from the lectures okay and still if you are not able to solve it um try to discuss it with your friends okay try to put in some group or um, like refer your notes the first thing is refer your notes okay refer your full notes about those concepts which are being which are being asked in the question and also brush up those concepts if uh, if you feel like you are not comfortable in those concepts then go and read uh, some standard books or watch that lecture again so um, this way most probably you will be able to solve that question if you if you are still not able to solve that question put that question in some group um, maybe you have some groups with your friends or there are many groups available on telegram you can post that question any uh, in any of that group and uh, most probably all will take part in that discussion and it will be helpful for your uh, for building your thought process which is the most important part of the gate preparation uh, i will tell you why in few minutes okay so uh, after posting that question in group if you, uh, you you will get some answers right you will get some hints you will get some answers many of the students will try that question so try to use the, those hints try to use those knowledge uh, use that knowledge and also um, like put put on some your uh, put on some work on that question again okay so most probably uh, now you will be able to solve that question if you are still not able to solve that question then maybe uh, it involves some of the concepts which you have not yet studied okay uh, yeah which you have not yet studied or which are coming uh, which will be coming in future so the main thing is uh, some questions are there which involve mixed concepts okay so uh, you can do two things here you either leave that question and mark it for um, for further reference or uh, you can read those concepts by yourself and try and try to solve that question okay um, the other thing is if if you have done these many things and still you are not able to solve that question then look for it answer on gate overflow okay gate overflow is the best website for looking uh, for like verifying the answers because it has almost all the answers correct okay so uh, like there is also a way of looking for gate overflow because there are so many answers so many like links so many references all that and if you on if you keep on looking those references those answers then you may waste a lot of your time okay which is not uh, which is not at all required for gate so the main thing is i will um, the main thing which i will suggest is like uh, go go to gate overflow and see the best answer there there is one best answer column go to that see the best answer if you are able to understand it then well and good or read some of the most upvoted comments okay uh, they will help you for sure if you are still not able to get it don't waste your time on gate overflow just go on youtube or go to your mentor or faculty from uh, whoever you have uh, taken coaching uh, so try to uh, Try to uh, connect to them and ask them the concepts and um, maybe you can ask them the question directly so uh, they can explain you well okay so what what happens is we we just keep on wasting our time on gate overflow and various sites like geeks for geeks reading concepts which 
which can never be asked in gate okay so without wasting uh, this much time um, you can directly go to youtube there are many lectures explaining the questions properly explaining the pyqs explaining some some of the variants variations which can come in pyqs now i will suggest yeah similarly i will suggest gate overflow youtube channel also see this is not a promotional video but still uh, i reference the same so i will uh, suggest the same also right so uh, if you have come across these many uh, things and while solving a particular question then uh, it is 100% uh, true like you 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 are missing on some concepts or uh, maybe your concepts are not yet clear to solve such questions right so the most important thing which you can do right now is just uh, note down the question with with its answer with some of its variations and also make a column for the concept involved in that question for write all those concepts which are, which is involved in that question um, i'm telling this thing for both pyqs and test series okay because this is the only thing which will build your uh, which will build your thought process because um, why i'm uh, saying so much about thought process because uh, in gate exam you will not get the similar type of questions okay you will not get the same questions but uh, if if you are working on your thought process throughout your gate preparation you will be able to uh, think of a think of a feasible solution um, in while you are sitting while you are sitting for the gate exam okay so um, these were the main steps okay so i will uh, i will mention some of the major mistakes which which students do while solving the pyqs or any other question which is like um they do, they never look on for the solutions because they, they just keep on trying 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 many many days okay they just keep on trying or they just keep stuck on a single question but um let me tell you it is not very fruitful and it will harm your gate preparation uh, it will waste a lot of your time and um, they, because the key points are like uh, it is possible that there are many concepts which you are missing on or which are required for um, that particular question so if you are keep on wasting your time without looking on for solution you will never be able to know like uh, know the reason why you are not able to solve that question okay so the main thing is um don't waste a lot of time on a particular question like i have wasted i have literally wasted two or three days two to three days or maybe four to five one week also in a particular question which is not at all a good uh, practice okay so um try to like try to allocate some particular amount of time for solving questions like you can uh, you can give i think two to three hours maybe in the in your initial phase in your initial phase you can give Two to three hours for a particular question, and um, as you go on, like in September, October, or something, and if you are still behind, uh, behind, uh, if you are still behind, if you still, if you still feel that uh, you are about to complete some uh, more subjects, so please don't waste your time um, on a particular question. Just look on for solution. Try to note it down. Try to note its solution. Try to note the concepts properly, um, whichever are required for that. for solving that particular question so that uh, it will help you build your thought process and it will help you solve similar type of questions uh, which you may be um, which you may come across in test series or maybe in actual kit exam okay so i think i have covered most of the points and um, yeah uh, i think i have covered it yeah uh, if i will <laughs> if i remember some more points i will mention in the comments okay so feel free to comment uh and feel free to ask your questions and yeah one more um, point is like the videos are getting delayed because i am currently in my second semester of masters and we have so much of thesis work uh we uh, the placements are also ahead here uh, okay so the videos uh, may get delayed due to uh, these reasons due to some hectic schedule uh so yeah uh, best of luck and keep preparing hard Uh, keep giving time to questions like uh, a particular allocate some fixed amount of time don't waste random amount of time on that and if you have uh, if you if you are having some personal questions or like personal doubts you can uh, always connect to me on linkedin you can ask your doubts there 
or um, you can comment your doubts or queries in the comment section below so yeah um, that's all for this video and all the best bye